What is up, Packer fans? The Packers are just moments away from the Detroit Lions Packers Thursday Night Football. What is sweeter than that? Guys, before I get into it, take a second to subscribe. So the Packers just put out some very disappointing news, and this disappointing news could turn into devastating news by that. Guys, let's get into it. Okay, so the Packers just put out that they are going to be without Pro Bowl tackle David Bakhtiari, not just for this game, but they have put him on IR, which means he's going to be out for at least four weeks. Guys, here's the very disappointing news that could turn into devastating news that could turn into really devastating news. The Packers could be without him for the remainder of the season. And what do I mean by that? So if you recall, Bakhtiari signed a four million ninety-two four year $92 million contract back in 2020. And in practice, short after that contract signing, he tore his ACL. And he has had multiple surgeries to address this injury. And it continues to hamper him. You know that he's only played in 28 games. I mean, he's missed 28 games since that injury. Okay. This is an injury that has beyond plagued him. Okay. That being said, we don't know what the issue is. Why is he going to be out for four weeks? We heard he was day to day. We heard he was going to be day to day pretty much the entire year. And now he's out for four weeks. He's on the IR guys. This is very disappointing news and could be devastating news because they could be without him for the remainder of the season. If not you know, you got to think through this. Okay. So he's only 31 years old and he's only, you know, he's missed 28 games since signing that big contract. He hasn't played much since that contract signing. They could potentially be without him for the rest of their career. This is devastating. He clearly cannot shake this ACL injury. Super disappointed about this to hear this. Um, Bakhtiari is a leader on that line. He means so much for the Packer organization. So this is a huge blow to the team because I think this is going to mean more than just four games. I really do, unfortunately. So the next man up is Rashid Walker. He's been filling in pretty nicely. He's going to have to fill in really nicely now that Bakhtiari is going to be out for at least four games. We'll see. Maybe maybe we'll get some very optimistic news that everything is tracking right in the right direction, but I seem to think otherwise. That being said, guys, Super excited about this game. This does put a dark cloud over it, but here's why I'm excited, okay? The Packers, if you know, Packers have lost the last three games versus the Detroit Lions, okay? They got swept last season. Yes, you've heard it, swept by the Lions. And a game that they should have made the playoffs with, the Lions prevented them from doing that. So I look at this as a revenge game for the Packers. If I'm them, I'm, 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 I'm all in on this game. Not just that, the Packers are underdogs going into this game at home. When have you heard of the Packers at home versus the Lions, two-point underdogs? Ridiculous. Okay, so this is a game that they must win because here's why. The Lions are actually not just two-point favorites in this. They're favorites to win the NFC North. Okay, Packers have got to make a statement in this game. They've got to step up and they've got to win. This has got to be a big win for the Packers and they do it without Pro Bowl tackle David Bakhtiari. Super disappointing news, guys. Uh, I, I'm i really hoping that he will be able to see him this season yet. Um, I'm really hoping we'll be able to see him on the football field, for that matter, before he retires. That being said, go Pack, kill the Lions.